What is up, pheasants? My name's George. I have a Eric Landros and John LeClaire player review. Here they are. If you want any other player reviews, let me know down in the comments below. I am particularly looking for defensemen, preferably speedster or howitzer synergies. I am all about the speed cheese. But we have Clojuru El Capitan. My captain. And the captain. Yeah, fucking sit on your ass, Crosby. Uh, <laughs> playing left wing with Lindros LeClaire. Then we got Yari Curry, Lemieux, Sittler, James Neal, Stastny, Henry Richard. Guy, don't know how to say your name. Really good face-offs. Uh, good center. Got distributor. Sundin. Ray Ferraro, you saw the defense a little bit. Cal McCarr, Victor Hedman, Morgan Riley, Chris Letang, Adam Fox, Robin Regeer. Fox has been sneaky good. In goal, we got Ben Bishop. I'm torn on Ben Bishop. He just got lit up in game three. This is a post com video. Yeah, just deal with it. You don't want to see me play live. It's not pretty. Um, He got lit up. And I felt like there were three or four goals he could have stopped. But that didn't happen. So those are the teams. Power plays, top two lines, PK, bottom two lines. I alternate the defense. Standard stuff, I believe. We're in Div 3. If you want to call me a scrub or a bender, duster, whatever the hell you want to call me. Div 3. Whatever. Get on with your life. I'm decent. Not great. Trying to climb up. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. So, this is the intro. Uh, let's get into gameplay. I uh, will catch you there. Bye bye Alright, it's player review time. Let's get into it. First off, Claude Giroux, Eric Lind Lindros, John LeClaire. Flyers, Legends, I'm a Flyers fan. That is why I was inspired to do this player review and why I played them on my top line. Unfortunately, there is no Michael Renberg in this game. I would have played him there over Claude Giroux to reunite the Legion of Doom. But unfortunately, not happening. And while we're in the start, let me know down below if there's any other player reviews you want to see. In this background, you're watching the gameplay of the three games I played. I'm thinking maybe like a Bergeron, Chara, Team of the Week, Pasternak. Pasternak? Wow. English is hard. Or like a Stamkos Kucherov Headman. Or a Gretzky, Yari Curry, Paul Coffey player review. Something like that. Maybe even Latang, Lemieux, and Crosby. I don't know. Let me know down below. Let me know if there's any specific player reviews you want to see. Please and thank you. I may get them out. Or you just may never see me again. I don't know. This is an option. But we're getting into it. Claude Giroux. If you're running a budget team, this is a must-have card. Got Speedster on his base card. If you can get Distributor, he'll have 93 speed, 92 puck control, 85 face-offs as a center or winger, even if you want to play him like third line and maybe start him as the as a power or a penalty kill center. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Definitely a card to keep an eye out. He's always good in NHL. He should be going for it. We're going to go to John LeClaire, working our way up from cheapest to most expensive. LeClaire is about 30k on the market right now, maybe a little less. I paid 30k for him. He's absolutely worth it. Now, in game, oh wow, I just slammed my controller. Um, in game, I compare him kind of to like a Kopitar, but probably a little more offensively gifted than Kopitar. Very comparable. Also, Ray Ferraro is comparable. He's a lot faster and silkier than James Neal in game. Uh, than that, like, the theme builders, James Neal, the 85 from Vegas. Much faster, much silkier on the puck. I really liked him. With Howitzer, activated, and distributor, he has 82 acceleration, 87 agility, 90 balance, 83 endurance, 88 speed. His shooting is pretty decent, 84 slap shot accuracy, 90 power. Wrist shot was 86, 93, pretty good. Puck control, is 89 passing is 89 hand eyes 86 deking was 82 he felt felt a lot better than 82 deking there was one play one clip i think i included it i hope i did where i just go on a deking spree with him going up the ice 
body checking, it's okay. He can lay the body. He can be physical. That's what you would expect out of a 6'3", 226 player. He's got decent defensive stats. Uh, as the season progresses, progresses, he'll definitely be a card to look for like a bottom six winger who can throw in some offensive threat. And I'm talking like end game god squads. If he gets like a 92, 93 card, you're looking at like plus six everything. I think he'd be a very good card in game. Now to the big Kahuna, Mr. Eric Lindros, 6'4", 240 with Howitzer. He's right handed. This card was a straight up disappointment. He was a disappointment. I paid 160k for him. He is not worth 100,000 coins. He's not. Unless you're a Flyers fan, I don't think he's worth this. There can be an argument that I played him and played these this line, the Flyers line too high. Uh, the the last game in particular, the, my opponent's top line was Gretzky, Lemieux, and Guy Lafleur. That's a very good, very fast, and offensively gifted top line. The Flyers' top line here, it's not its not great in defense or in offense. So, and the players are a little slow. Now, I believe in the intro I made the comparison to Matt Sundin. That still is accurate. Lindros is just a better carbon copy of Sundin. I would go for Sundin over Lindros if you want to save the coins or you want to risk getting Sundin out of your uh, your like icon choice pack. Do that. Lindros' stats. 83 acceleration, 88 agility, 95 balance. I did feel that in game. That stat feels true. Endurance, whatever, 89 speed. He wasn't slow. He wasn't fast. He just didn't really stick out, especially skating. His shooting. Stats look very good on paper. I don't recall taking any big shots with them. That was sad. Although Leclerc, now that I remember, Leclerc missed an empty net one tee off the push on the face off. So I don't know. He ended up having two assists for Giroud uh, and some pretty nice passes and deeks, Leclerc, to set up Giroud. But Lindros, I didn't really get to test out his shot. He didn't get in good situations for it. His hands, 93 puck control, 93 passing, 94 hand eye and offensive awareness, 89 deking. If Leclerc had 82 deking, I would assume Lindros can deke much better. I am more competent with left-handed players, so I don't really try to deke as much with right-handed players. I'm just not comfortable doing it. But Lindros can lay the body. He's got 94 strength, 94 aggression, which I don't know what exactly this stat does in FIFA, which I know probably better than NHL at this point. And Golo Kante has crazy aggression and he gets into the play he goes after it Lindros didn't he was very passive and it may I, I'll have to check with my uh, what my my strategies are it may be something where my centers are just more passive and I let my wings play I feel like I run strong side slant out of my zone I can't remember though but you can definitely feel the strength and the balance like I said I can see Sundin is the best archetype to compare him to. If you view Sundin, that's what you're going to get out of Lindros. A lot more offensively gifted. He was harder to hit off the puck. Had better hands, a better shot. Better all-around player, but I'd go with Sundin just for the coin difference. Lindros does have 89 face-offs, which is fantastic. His shot blocking and his stick checking is a little low. Uh, 79 shot block, 81 stick checking. Which, that's kind of a disappointment. But, so, just to recap here, Leclerc, you can buy at 30k, I think he's good. Lindros at 160k, avoid it like the plague. I wouldn't pay 100k for him if I wasn't a Flyers fan. I would actually get rid of him if I was not a Flyers fan at the moment. But, I am, so I'm going to keep him on the team. He'll definitely be a, he may be a bottom six extra attacker, uh, playing PK in the, the like, four on four power play. That might be a good idea to do. Uh, but yeah, it was it was just overall kind of a sad showing here. Uh, this last game that you're watching now, a lot of goals. 13 goals scored. And Lindros didn't have a single point. Leclerc had two points. Giroud had a couple of goals and an assist or two. Giroud was the standout player. 
and when an 80, what, 84 that goes for less than 10K is a standout player on two, well, I guess they're icons, yeah, they are icon cards, but two, like, they're, they're almost 200K combined, Drew's under 10K, like, that's just absurd that, it's sad that Jeru being so inferior in terms of statistics, or actual attributes, look at me give away this goal here to blow the lead, that's a, oh my goodness, that's awful, but yeah, it's kind of sad that Jeru plays better, now, like I said, could be I overplayed, I played the line too high against too hard competition, Maybe they're not good enough to handle that competition. I don't know. It's not very. It's not a very defensively competent line. Drew 83 defense. Lindros 85. Leclerc 87. They could be better. And they could also be better going forward. That was probably the big thing. That Leclerc real and that Giroux. Giroux was the one who stood out. Not so much Leclerc, but Giroux. And Lindros just hid. So it's a shame, but can't change it okay well that's all i got if you guys have any ideas for player reviews anything you want to see i can do hot rush player reviews i can do more online uh, ranked seasons player reviews let me know down below props to my to everybody i played especially this last guy uh, good games i don't know let me know i'll catch you guys adios